The stock of the day is Boral. After it upgraded its full year earnings guidance, amid deepening confidence that customers will be able to absorb price rises and that costs are under control. It sees underlying earnings to come in between $300 and $330 million compared to yeah, the previous forecast range. Now the company says that volumes year to date have been relatively steady and that at this stage it expects it to continue through the remainder of F. Y 2024. So, David, I think you were chomping at the bit to talk to Boral. So, this this is a tra like a turnaround story that is gaining traction in your view. Yeah, it seems to be. It's uh, it's a stock that, uh, as you said, has had a, a bit of a checkered past uh, and and is recovering. The new management that's come in. Um, so, if you remember, a few years ago, uh, Seven Group tried to to make a takeover for the business. It was somewhat successful. They, they own about 72, 73 percent of the business. So, very much uh, influenced by uh, Seven. So, Ryan Stokes, who's the CEO of Seven, is also the chairman of of Boral. Uh, they've been through a, a divestment over the last couple of years, so they've got about $5 billion of, of asset divestment that they've, they've sold off and strengthened the balance sheet, and they've been a lot more focused on their costs. So what Boral has announced today is the fact that their costs seem to be relatively under control while they've been able to pass on their rising prices to customers. So they've increased their, their guidance uh, about 10.5% from the midpoint of, of their previous guidance. So a reasonable upgrade there. Uh, the share price has is, is reacted positively, so they're up about 6.5% or a little bit more today. Um, so a good announcement and similar, I suppose, to what we saw from James Hardy a few weeks ago in that uh, the building materials is a sector that probably continues to surprise that we're anticipating that there should be lower demand, um, but yeah, we've actually been positively surprised. I think in Boral's case, they're uh, leaning towards the, the government sector, getting a lot of spending on the, on the infrastructure and, and their traditional uh, bitumen and, and road uh, you know, materials as well. So positive announcement for the company. Um, as far as valuation is concerned, we think that they're relatively expensive. So we've got a hold recommendation on them um, at at five dollars, they're they're probably a you know a bit above where we think they should be. Um, our analysts' fair value is four twenty five, but hazard a guess that perhaps they'd be looking at the announcement today and and may make an adjustment to that. But at this point in time, I've got a hold recommendation on it. Yeah, okay, Daniel, that's the thing, isn't it? You know, has its share price run ahead of fundamentals, even in light of today's upgrade? Yeah, look, I think similar comments in terms of the valuation and, and David covered kind of the story of Boral in the last few years really well. I will say that, it, you know, it's always very difficult when you're trying to pick a turnaround story. But a lot of the times you have to look at perhaps, you know, the structure of management teams. And obviously, uh, when Seven Group came in, you think about kind of the, the Stokes family and their experience in running businesses, very disciplined and very focused on capital allocation. You know, they're not focused on perhaps empire building or growing for the sake of growth, which you know, was kind of the take on Boral before that. So, yeah, it's it, it's been a great case study to follow. But coming back to today's valuation, probably a little bit high for us too. You know, that I remember about, I think, six months ago, probably 12 months ago, actually, now in, in the peak bearishness for building materials, you know, we saw companies like James Hardy hit under $30. And the, the fundamental results looked terrible, but they were putting up prices double digits almost every three months or so. So that's actually come into to bear fruit. And, and, you know, we look at James Hardy's results. And like you said, Nadine, the margins have been a lot better, even though underlying volumes hasn't been that great. So, um, yeah, from our, from our money, we're probably finding better opportunities elsewhere at today's valuation. But uh, I still think it's warranted to, to have on the watch list because that margin story and the fact that they've been able to push prices higher, it probably does lead to a better business overall going forward for Boral. OK, so if you owned it, would you hold it? Yeah, look, I think there's a case for holding it, certainly, okay. and potentially as the balance sheet improves, you know, capital management initiatives going forward, that'll probably be a positive for the company. All right. Thanks, guys. So that is the stock of the day being Boral.